In this video, we will be seeing how to find the least common ancestor of two nodes using binary lifting and the complexity for finding the LC of two nodes will be log n. Given two nodes u and v, the LCA of u and v will lie in the path from root to u and will lie in the path from u to v and if there are multiple nodes which are common to both of these paths then we will take the node which is farthest from the root node. So here this w node will be the LCA of u and v. We will be using binary lifting to find the LCA of u and v in log n time. However, before finding the LCA between two nodes, we need to do some pre-processing. We need to find a common ancestor for both u and v, which is closest to both u and v. I will be calculating a 2D array called dp. So dp of ui will give me the ancestor of u which is at distance 2 power i from u say i is equal to 1 then the ancestor of u which is at distance 2 power 1 will be w so this distance will be 2 power 1 and say if i is equal to 0 then dp of u comma 0 will be the immediate parent of u because the distance will be 2 power 0 which is 1 so basically this array just stores the ancestors of a node which is at a distance of powers of 2 from u. Once we have calculated this dp array, then we can start finding out the LCA of two nodes in log n time. So now let's see how we can find out this array. I have three nodes u, x and y. x is an ancestor of u which is at a distance 2 power i minus 1 from u. And y is an ancestor of x which is at distance 2 power i minus 1. Obviously, we can see that y is also an ancestor of u and the distance between u and y will be 2 power i minus 1 plus 2 power i minus 1 which will be equal to 2 power i. So this relation will allow us to find the recurrence formula for this dp array. So if I want to find dp of u comma i this will be equal to dp of x i minus 1 because dp of x minus 1 will give me the ancestor of x which is at distance 2 power i minus 1 from x so which will be y and we know that y is an ancestor of u which is at distance 2 power i from u so therefore y will be the value for dp u of i and if we replace x over here we will get dp ui is equal to dp of x will be dp of u i minus 1 and finally i minus 1 x is an ancestor of u which is a distance 2 power i minus 1 so we can replace x with dp of u of i minus 1 here is the code to calculate this dp array so first we will do a normal DFS traversal to this tree starting from the root node and before we traverse to the child nodes for this node we calculate the dp value for this current node. First we will mark the level of the current node to be 1 greater than the parent node. We will see later why we will be using the level for a node. Next we will be marking the dp value of u, 0 to be the parent itself. At distance 2 power 0 which is 1 the ancestor of u will be the immediate parent now we will find out the rest of the dp values for this node using the relation we already discussed so dp of ui will be equal to dp of dp of u comma i minus 1 of i minus 1 and i ranges from 1 to log n so ln is log n the size of dp array will be n log n because there are n nodes and the maximum distance between two nodes can be n but since we are representing distances in powers of 2 the maximum i value will be log n so we will be iterating i from 1 to log n so effectively the complexity for calculating this dp array will also be n log n now that we have seen how to calculate this dp value let's see how we can find the lc of two nodes in log n time here is the code for LCA and alongside this code I will be explaining you 
how we can find LCA of two nodes U and V. So here I have two nodes U and V and their LCA is given over here. And let's assume that the depth of U or which I call the level of U is greater than the level of V. That means U is deeper than V. So over here, we check the level of U and V. If level of U is less than V, then we swap U and V so that we make sure that the node U is deeper than node V. So first what I will be doing is, I will be climbing up from U to a node whose level is same as the level of V. So I will climb up to a new node whose level will be the same as that of V. And I will mark this node as U. To do this, I will find the difference in levels between V and U. So let this be the difference between the level of U and the level of V. So we need to climb up to the ancestor of U whose distance from U is the value diff. Then we'll be at a node which is at the same level as V. Say the value of diff is 5. In binary representation, 5 can be written as 0, 1, 0, 1. In the binary representation, if the ith bit is set, then I will be jumping to the ancestor at a distance of 2 power i. i is equal to 0, bit is set. So I will be jumping from u to dp of u of 0, which will be its immediate parent. Next, the bit 2 is set, 0, 1, 2. So I need to jump to an ancestor from the current u, which is a distance 4 from the current u. So from here I will be jumping to dp of u, comma, the second bit is set. So dp of u of 2. So as I encounter bits which are 1, I will be changing my u to an ancestor which is a distance 2 power the index of the set bit. So first we jumped a distance 1 and then we jumped a distance 2 power 2 which was 4 and we are using the binary representation of this entire distance to jump from u to an ancestor of u which is at the same level as v. So here in the code we calculate this difference value and we are iterating over all the bits. If the ith bit is set in the difference value then we change u to dp of u of i. This works because any integer x can be represented as a summation of 2 power i where ith bit is set. Now if after climbing up the new u value if that is equal to v then the LCA will be u itself. Why? Because say if this node was v then the ancestor of u which is at the same level as v will be v itself because v is an ancestor of u. So after climbing up if u and v are same then that node is the LCA. Now that both u and v are at the same level what we'll be doing next is I will be climbing from u and v by equal amounts until the parents become equal. Basically I want to climb u and v until u is the immediate child of LCA and v is also the immediate child of LCA and we'll be climbing both of them by equal amount. So how do we do this? From the current u and v, we want to make the highest jump possible in the form of 2 power i. So I will choose an i such that the i value is maximum and after jumping, both u and v are not equal. Then again I will find the next higher i value which after jumping with that 2 power i value, again u and v are not equal. I will be keep doing this until their immediate parents become equal. Say the distance between node u and LCA is d. So the distance between LCA and v will also be d. And say d is equal to 1, 0, 1, 1 in binary. Obviously we do not know d beforehand but it will help us visualize the algorithm. So the bit positions will be 0, 1, 2, 3. For all i values greater than 3, say if i value was 4, then 2 power 4 will be 16 and the value of d will be 11. 
dp of u of i will be equal to dp of v of i because the ancestor of u at distance 16 will be the same as the ancestor of v at distance 16. So we will be iterating i from maximum value and whenever i reaches a point where dp of u i is not equal to dp of v i then I jump from u to its ancestor at distance 2 power i and v to its ancestor at distance v power i. Now u and v will not be equal. So over here for the next i that is i is equal to 3, 2 power 3 will be 8 and because 8 which is less than 11 dp of u of 3 and dp of v of 3 will not be equal. The ancestor of u at distance 8 will be different from the ancestor of v at distance 8. So we jump by 8 units or 2 power 3 units. Now u will be here, v will be here. Next i will be equal to 2. So 2 square will be 4. Now we check whether the ancestor of u and the ancestor of v at a distance 2 square will be same or not. In this case, they will be same because last time we jumped by unit 8. So the remaining distance will be 11 minus 8 will be 3. And for a distance greater than 3, both of the ancestors will be same. So we will not be jumping by this amount. Next for i is equal to 1, we will have 2 power 1 which is equal to 2. And both the ancestors u and v which are at distance 2 will not be same. So we will jump by 2 units. Now the remaining distance from the LCA will be 3 minus 2 which will be 1. Now for i is equal to 0 we will have the distance as 1 and obviously as the remaining distance is 1 both of their ancestors at distance 1 will be same and so we will not jump by that amount. So finally we will land up at this position u and v. So basically what we are doing we are always trying to jump by the highest amount such that after jumping both u and v are not equal and we keep doing this until i becomes 0. After all the jumps we will finally see that u and v are immediate children of the node LCA because u and v cannot be jumped further as even a jump of distance 1 will make them equal. Here in the code we iterate i from the highest value up till 0. If the ancestors of u and v at distance 2 power i are not equal, then we move u and v to their ancestors. After this for loop, we know that u and v are closest to the LCA and the parent of either u or v will be the LCA. So we return u of 0. Let's see a slightly different intuition of why this works. So basically if you notice, finally u moves to an ancestor at a distance of d minus 1 and v moves to an ancestor at a distance of d minus 1. In this example d minus 1 in binary form will be 1 0 1 0 and if you notice we are only making jumps whenever i bit in this binary number is 1. So when i is equal to this one we see that both of the ancestors are different so we make a jump. Once we make a jump, the remaining distance will become this. We made a jump for 2 power i. So if I subtract 2 power i, this will be the remaining distance that I need to jump. So the next position, 2 power i will be greater than d minus 1. And obviously both of the ancestors will be same. And when i comes to this one, the ancestors of both u and v will be different because 2 power this bit will be less than equal to d minus 1. So after jumping, I will subtract 2 power i again. So after making all possible jumps, you will see that the value of d minus 1 is 0. So d minus 1 will be 0 and finally d will be 1. So the remaining distance of u and v from the common ancestors will be 1. The complexity for finding the LCA of u and v will be log n because in every for loop that we've used, maximum number of iterations which is required is log n. So by using a pre-computation in the order of n log n, we can calculate LCA every time 
in the order of login. Like this video if you have understood this algorithm and do not forget to subscribe to my channel Fluent Algorithms. See you in my next video.